Hey guys, George Majorano, American Male Wellness Coordinator here at American Male Wellness. And I want to talk a little bit about peptides today. What are they? Who needs them? Why do we need them? What do they do? Okay, there's a lot of questions out there. We get these every day. So first off, let's understand what a peptide is, okay? It's a sequence of amino acids, and that's what makes up proteins. Our whole body is made up of proteins, okay? Just in different sequences. Our body makes protein every day, and that's essential for our body to repair, heal tissue, and, you know, do certain functions in the body, create hormones, you know, whatever the case may be. But everything is, consists of, of proteins in the body. That's it. So as long as we understand that, we can understand that this sequence of amino acids can be altered, changing that protein, being able to do certain functions in the body. So all proteins have functions. So where do peptides come in? Well, peptides have been sequenced. These sequences actually help us with hormone regulation, help us with healing of soft tissue, um, help us with mood, cognitive abilities. There's, there's a plethora of things out there that they're used for. So now, who needs them though? You know, why would I need them? Well, rejuvenative, rejuvenative medicine is, is actually a big field now. When we're realizing that if we can rejuvenate these proteins and allow the body to modulate these proteins itself, okay, by ingesting them or injecting them or topically putting them on our body, we can help enhance certain capabilities like healing soft tissue injuries for athletes or for just regular or somebody just, you know, hurt their knee on a daily basis. Or let's say from a hormone imbalance. So let's say, for instance, you, you're, you know, you're not producing enough luteinizing hormone and you want to increase your hormone from, uh, you know, from the hypothalamus to the pituitary to the, to the testes as, as being a male or possibly as a female. So these are, these are things that the peptides can do for us. In, in addition to that, there's also peptides that help us with cognitive ability increasing brain-derived neurotropic factor, okay? The brain actually, you know, neuroplasticity, the brain can actually grow and actually create new neuron connectivity, to, you know, uh, connections, which makes us uh, appear or even actually be smarter and have better memory. So as we age, these things start to diminish. And what we like to do is we like to slow that aging process down. So that's where anti, the, you know, the term anti-aging comes in. You know, maybe these proteins can help us slow. We're not going to stop the aging process, right? You know, consider the alternative. That's not, that's not what we want to do. We want to slow it down a little bit. We want to make sure that the, the body's healing and doing the functions that it needs as long as we can possibly need them to, fun to function, right? So we don't want to get old, right? We want to, we want to make sure. We want to make sure we stay young as long as possible. So here at American Man Wellness, what we do is we offer a rejuvenative medicine package, and that package includes these peptides in it, along with some other treatments, but those peptides can actually enhance some of these functions. Let's say, for instance, a gentleman comes in, he has low testosterone. We can give a, 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 a peptide that will actually increase luteinizing hormone, which would then help the body produce more testosterone. So you can see that can be effective in, in the treatments that we provide here. And it's not only for that. I mean, also for weight loss. There's, there's peptides out there that help you, you know, burn more, mobilize more body fat. And, of course, somebody that's, you know, not functioning well, you know, it needs to uh, think every day that, you know, they're, they're in a professional field or they have to remember things. And as they get older, they're ability or the cognitive memory is not the same anymore. Well, there's peptides for that also. So just so you, you know, this can understand who's it for. Well, that's who's it, who it's for. It's for all of us. Okay. And, you know, I hope this answers your questions today. You, can, you know, if there's any other information that you'd like to know about peptides, just put it down in the comments in the section below. And, you know, I can provide that information for you. And hopefully, you know, this will be, this will be helpful for you guys to understand that. So in addition, Let's hit that notification bell and actually subscribe, and then you can see all the content that we put out, put out on a daily basis. So I appreciate you listening to us today. Again, anything else you want to know, any questions, please just put them down in the comment section below. Have a great day.